On this episode of Freak Electromagnetic Experiments. The Water Bridge Experiment, Rutherford Scattering with Balloons and the Hover Magnet Project. Enjoy! the Rutherford gold foil experiment is with a wine glass, some marbles, and a ramp. And what we're going to do is the, the marbles are going to represent the alpha particles that were fired at the gold foil. We're going to roll the marbles down a ramp and aim it at the, st the, uh, the base of a wine glass. And you'll notice that the base of the wine glass has that nice curve to it. Well, that actually models the, uh, the potential in the field very nicely. And you'll notice there's a little bit of modeling clay that we have to put right around the lip just because the, uh, the wine glass sits, sits up off the, off the table and we don't want to create too much of a bounce. We want the marbles to be able to roll up. And so what we're going to do is we're going to simply roll some marbles at the wine glass. And you'll see, oh, I missed. Well, Rutherford missed. Most of the alpha particles went straight by. He had to fire over, you know, he, he, uh, only one out of 8,000 alpha particles actually bounced back. That's an important thing for students to get a, a grasp on. And one of the main reasons for that is the, the huge distance between the gold nuclei. But let's get closer to the nuclei. Now, let's not let the ramp get too close to the, to the glass. We want to keep it back, keep it challenging. What happens when the students fire the uh, marbles at it? Well, they roll up, and then they're repelled by the glass, and they come off at some kind of angle. 
And so what we want to do is simply give the students a chance to get a feel for this, that depending on the exact angle of incidence, they're going to get a different kind of repulsion. And they're going to see how tricky it is to actually get a marble to go straight up and back on itself. And this gives them at least a sense for, whoa, there we go. There's that very special one that, that made Rutherford redesign the atom. The one out of 8,000 alpha particles that's repelled straight back must have hit something very, very heavy, very, very positive to cause that kind of repulsion. We're going to model uh, electrostatic repulsion with two balloons that have charge on them. One is hanging from the ceiling and the other is going to be held in my hand. And what's going to happen is, as I approach, you're going to see a deflection. You're going to see that the balloon that's hanging from the ceiling moves away as the incoming um, charge approaches. And this models in a backwards way what happened with Rutherford. In Rutherford, it was the incoming particle that deflected. And in, in this case, so it's a little bit different, but it gives a sense of what comes in. It's very important that the balloon that's hanging from the ceiling have a uniform charge all around its surface. If it doesn't have a uniform charge, then what's going to happen is when you approach it with a balloon that is charged, it's not going to swing away, it's going to spin away. And we don't want that. So the balloon that's hanging has to have a charge all across, all around it. So it's going to be, need to be rubbed by something, what, by wool or something. Um, to give a, a good static charge all the way around. enjoyed this episode of Freak Physics. Please like, share and subscribe to help Freak Physics continue to provide free content. To see more go to freakphysics.com.